Welcome back to Outside the Huddle on CST. This week, the Touchdown Club got a little musical. For almost 20 years, he's been singing songs about the Saints. You know him as Abdul the Tentmaker, a name he gave himself since volunteering to make a dress for Buddy D. The legendary broadcaster in Houdat promised to wear a dress if the Saints ever made it to the Super Bowl. Buddy D may not have lived long enough to take Abdul up on that offer, but he did help the singer-songwriter become one of the more famous characters of Houdat Nation. And he's still bringing the noise. And Eric Ritchie tells us how Abdul is now giving back to the community. Well, we pulled out on New Orleans and Papa Doc's RV. We were heading east to watch Drew Brees beat the Colts in Miami. With Mousy riding shotgun, we had that hammer down. Those Indy fans didn't stand a chance. We rolled into town, amen. He's been entertaining Saints fans with his witty songs about the black and gold for years. But what some don't know is that Abdul the Tentmaker sings for more than just his love of the Hoodats. Through the years, the proceeds from his CD sales have generated over $35,000 for area charities. And at this week's meeting of the Saints Touchdown Club, he let everyone know where the money from his new CD, the Two Dat Boogie, is headed. I'd like to take the opportunity at this time to present this check for $3,500 to the Heath Evans Foundation. I guess your thoughts on Abdul doing this for you. Well, this is what you love about New Orleans. You love about people kind of wrapping their arms around something that our city desperately needs. And Abdul obviously has stepped to the front. I mean, to about $3,500. I mean, uh, that is eight kids now that can get full-time counseling through this check alone. So we love New Orleans. We love the people of New Orleans. Huge blessing, huge blessing. Abdul, how did you pick Heath Evans Foundation this year? Well, Eric, we, we, we always try and pick a foundation or an organization that helps children. It's just something that's close to my heart. And it's, it's amazing how I just pull these things out of the air. I really do. I just, I, I started thinking about some of the other foundations. And I know Drew gets a lot of help and Sean Payton gets a lot of help. And these guys that, that are down in the trenches, guys like Heath, I wanted to do something for some of the guys that didn't get a lot of publicity because I know their organizations don't get quite as much support as Drew Brees and the Sean Payton, stuff like that. So that's why, because his foundation was something for children, because he's kind of an unsung hero, or what I like to quiet, uh, call one of the quiet soldiers on the field, that's why we picked him. Keith, it's a foundation that's near and dear to your heart from what happened with your wife, but it's something that's almost taboo to a lot of people, but it's something that you're on the forefront to let people know that there's, there's help. Well, you guys know I have a big mouth, and it takes someone with a big mouth to, to tackle this issue. You talk about one out of four young girls and one out of six young boys before the age of 18 will be sexually abused in our country. Who's going to do something about it? You know, my wife and I decided to say, hey, listen, we use our story, our pain, our, our heartache, and say, hey, let's, let's better this world, let's better this community, and allow children to get help to, that don't have a voice and don't have the financial means to get help. The who dats? The who dats? The who dats going to do the two dat? A two dat boogie down in New Orleans. I said the two that boogie down in New Orleans. Reporting for Outside the Huddle, I'm Eric Ritchie. If you're looking to help the cause and join the sing-along, you can pick up Abdul's new CD at your favorite Saints store or online at abdulthetentmaker.com.